Hey there everyone, it's Amelia from Sleepopolis and today I'm going to be reviewing the DreamCloud Premier Rest Memory Foam Mattress. Now in this video I'm going to put this bed through a series of tests and see how it performs in factors like pressure relief, motion isolation, cooling, and more to help you decide if this is a good mattress for you. DreamCloud previously offered a line of three different hybrid mattresses, but they recently expanded their offerings to include an all foam version of each bed. So today I'll be reviewing the foam version of the most luxurious offering, the DreamCloud Premier Rest. We've reviewed the original DreamCloud Premier Rest Hybrid, so check out that review if you're interested. The DreamCloud Premier Rest Memory Foam Mattress is a 14-inch tall mattress. It has a quilted cashmere blend cover, a 4-inch section of gel-infused foam, 2 inches of transition foam, and 8 inches of base foam. After testing this bed out, I decided it had a medium firm feel. It feels sturdy and supportive, but slightly plush with some very slight sinkage and contouring. I do want to say that DreamCloud sent us this mattress for free to review, and if you buy it using our links in the description, we may earn a commission at no additional cost to you. And even if we do earn a commission, just know all the opinions represented in this video are entirely my own. If you do buy the DreamCloud Premier Rest Memory Foam Mattress, it'll come with a 365 night trial period and a lifetime warranty. It'll also ship for free, rolled up and compressed in a box. We recommend having a friend help you unbox it and giving the bed a day or so to fully inflate before use. First up, let's talk about how different sleeping positions will feel on this mattress. In every sleeping position, backside and stomach, you want your spine to be aligned, and you may also want pressure relief on certain parts of the body. But in every position, you'll need something different out of a mattress to make that happen. First, let's talk about back sleepers. Back sleepers typically need a good amount of support for spinal alignment, but also want to be comfortable and have some cushioning around the low back or shoulders. The DreamCloud Premier Rest Medium Firm Feel works really well for back sleepers. It offers plenty of support while still offering some cushioning. I really liked how the bed offered some cushioning around my lumbar region, but it's worth noting that my colleague Nicole didn't like it quite as much as I did in the back sleeping position. So with that in mind, I ultimately rated this bed as four and a half stars out of five for back sleeping. Next up, side sleepers. Side sleepers typically want a bed that offers good contouring and pressure relief around their shoulder and hip, and that's usually found in a softer bed. I found this bed a little firm for side sleeping. While I didn't notice a ton of pressure on my hip, I definitely felt like my shoulder was getting jammed up. Personally, I like to have a lot of contouring around my shoulder when sleeping on my side. So with that in mind, I gave this bed three and a half stars out of five for side sleeping. And finally, let's talk about stomach sleepers. These folks typically need a firm bed to keep their hips propped up to maintain spinal alignment. Sinking hips can lead to back pain. When I laid on my stomach on the DreamCloud Premier Rest Memory Foam bed, I felt fairly supported, but did notice some slight sinkage around my hips, which caused my lower back to bow a bit. I didn't think it was terrible, but also not ideal for stomach sleeping. So overall, I would rate it three and a half out of five stars for stomach sleeping. This next test is a big one if you share the bed with a partner or a pet, motion isolation. Now, motion isolation refers to how well a bed can isolate motion at the source and prevent it from transferring across the bed. So if your partner's tossing and turning over there, how much you're gonna feel it over here. We test this in a few different ways. Let's take a look at the results. To start the test, I laid down on one side of the mattress and I had my colleague, Nicole, lay on the other side and move around to see how much movement I felt. I felt a fair amount of motion transferring as she moved around on the bed, so this wasn't a great start. Then we used our red wine test to get a look at how much the liquid moved in the glass when we moved around on the bed. There was a fair amount of movement in the glass. While not horrible, these aren't exactly good results. So overall, I would rate this bed three and a half stars out of five for motion isolation. This probably isn't going to be a top pick for couples easily disturbed by motion. Next up is our edge support test. Now, edge support refers to how well the perimeter of the bed bears weight. Ideally, if you're sitting or lying along the edge, you wanna be as supported there as you were in the middle of the bed and not have the edge collapse underneath you. Now, this is particularly important for people who like to sit or lie along the edge of the bed, for people with mobility issues who use the edge to get in and out of the bed, and for couples, as it allows them to maximize the surface area of the bed. To start the test, I sat on the edge of the bed. Immediately, I felt a lot of sinkage. The edges were definitely collapsing under me and I didn't feel that supported. Moving along to lying along the edge, I felt a little more supported than I did when sitting, but still, I wasn't impressed. So overall, I would rate this bed three out of five stars for edge support. Now let's do the pressure mount test. This test shows where pressure is building up on my body while I'm lying on this mattress using our handy dandy pressure map. Now here's what you need to know to interpret the results. Blues and greens indicate lower pressure while yellows and reds indicate higher pressure. First up, let's look at my results for back sleeping. These results look pretty good. There's not much pressure showing up anywhere on my body, so this is great for back sleepers. Now let's look at side sleeping. 
These results are pretty solid overall. There is some very slight pressure buildup in my shoulder, but overall, this is not a bad result. So overall, I would rate this bed five stars for back sleeping pressure relief and four stars for side sleeping pressure relief. Next up, let's do the responsiveness test. This test is basically just about how easy it is to move around on the mattress. And this is important for combination sleepers who change between sleeping positions, for people with mobility issues, and as well for having sex. To test the responsiveness, I moved around on the mattress to see how easy or difficult it was. As I moved around, changing between sleeping positions, I definitely noticed it took some effort to change between positions and move around on the surface. This mattress doesn't have that much bounce to it either. So overall, I would give this bed three and a half stars out of five for responsiveness. And for our final test, the cooling test. Now for our cooling test, we use a thermal gun to take the surface temperature of the mattress. Then we have a tester lay on the mattress for about five minutes and right after they get off, we take the temperature again. We subtract the two to see how much heat was absorbed by the mattress. I had my colleague Nicole lay on the bed after I took the initial temperature. The mattress only increased by about 3.7 degrees, so this was a pretty impressive result. I didn't expect this bed to be so good at cooling, primarily because it's made of foam, which is known for trapping heat. So the gel infusions in the foam must be pretty effective here. Now we consider any bed that heats up by less than five degrees to have excellent cooling, so this bed would definitely fall in that category. And overall, I would rate it four and a half stars out of five for cooling. Let's quickly talk about price. Now price is obviously a huge factor when you're deciding to buy a mattress. If it's not in your budget, then is it really even worth considering? Now keep in mind that prices can fluctuate and we also always have coupons to help you out in the description. But right now you can get a queen size DreamCloud Premier Rest memory foam mattress for about $2,500 at full retail price. This bed does come in seven different sizes total and every different size has a different price. Well folks, we've made it through all the tests and you've seen all my ratings for this mattress. Now I wanna recap real quick and go over who I think should buy this mattress and who I think should consider a different one. First up, let's go over who this is a good option for. First up, this bed is a great pick for back sleepers. It offers the support they need for their spine while still offering some comfort. This bed is also a solid pick for hot sleepers. It performed surprisingly well in our cooling test, especially for an all foam bed. And here's who I would recommend choose another mattress. It was about average in our edge support, responsiveness, and motion isolation tests, which are three of the categories that we really like to see a high score in to recommend to couples. Second, this bed is pretty pricey, so it may not be a top pick for budget shoppers, but keep in mind, you can always save with those coupons in the description. Well, folks, that's it for today's review on the DreamCloud Premier S Memory Foam Mattress. I hope you found this helpful, and if you do have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below. You can also go to our full written article over at sleepopolis.com, so check that out if you want some more information. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!